What time is it? It's prayer time. Today we gather to reflect on the profound truth that in our spiritual journey, we may encounter chains that bind us, hindering our growth and connection with the divine. These chains of spiritual bondage can manifest in various forms, addiction, fear, doubt, or even past traumas. But fear not, for the scripture tells us, for freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm therefore and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Galatians 5, 1. It is within our divine inheritance to break free from these chains and walk in the light of liberation. Breaking the chains of spiritual bondage begins with acknowledging their existence. We must bravely confront the areas in our lives where we feel shackled and seek guidance through prayer, meditation, and fellowship. For it is through our vulnerability and surrender to the divine that we find the strength to overcome. Yet breaking these chains requires more than mere acknowledgement. It demands action. We must actively engage in spiritual practices that nurture our souls and fortify our spirits. Through scripture study, work Worship and service to others, we cultivate the resilience needed to withstand the trials that seek to ensnare us. Moreover, we must remember that we are not alone in this journey. Our faith community stands as a beacon of hope and support, offering love, encouragement, and accountability. Together, we can lift each other up and journey towards spiritual freedom. But let us also be mindful that breaking the chains of spiritual bondage is not a one-time event, but rather a continuous process. Just as a sculptor tirelessly chisels away at a block of marble to reveal the masterpiece within, so too must we persistently strive towards spiritual wholeness, chiseling away the layers of doubt and fear that obscure our true selves. So let us embrace the truth that we are called to be free, free from the chains that bind us, free to walk in the abundant life that our Creator intends for us. May we courageously confront our spiritual bondage, may we diligently pursue the path of liberation, and may we rejoice in the freedom that is ours in Christ. Let us not forget that breaking the chains of spiritual bondage also requires a deep examination of our hearts and minds. We must be willing to confront the inner struggles and negative patterns of thought that contribute to our bondage. In our quest for freedom, we must be vigilant against the lies and deceptions that seek to imprison us. The enemy of our souls prowls like a roaring lion, seeking to devour and destroy. Yet we are called to stand firm in the truth of God's word, knowing that his power within us is greater than any force that opposes us. As we journey towards liberation, let us also extend grace to ourselves and to others. Breaking free from spiritual bondage is a process that requires patience, perseverance, and compassion. Let us not grow weary in doing good, for in due season we will reap a harvest of freedom if we do not give up. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. He who endured the cross for the joy set before him, despising its shame, and is now seated at the right hand of the throne of God. In him we find find the ultimate example of perseverance and victory over sin and death. As we continue our journey of breaking the chains of spiritual bondage, let us remain steadfast in our commitment to growth and transformation. Let us embrace the challenges that come with breaking free from the familiar but stifling constraints of our past. As we journey onward in our quest to break the chains of spiritual bondage, let us also embrace the transformative power of God's word. The scriptures are not merely ink on paper, but living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart according to Hebrews 4.12. When we immerse ourselves in the Word of God, we align our hearts and minds with His truth, allowing it to penetrate the deepest recesses of our being. Through regular study, meditation, and application of Scripture, we are equipped to recognize the lies of the enemy and stand firm on the promises of God. Even in the midst of trials and tribulations, there is always something to be thankful for. Let us cultivate a habit of counting our blessings, acknowledging God's faithfulness, provision, and mercy in our lives. As we offer up our thanksgiving and praise, we create an atmosphere of joy and positivity that dispels the shadows of spiritual bondage. The psalmist declares, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever, according to Psalm 107. 1. Let us echo these words in our own lives, magnifying the Lord with songs of praise and adoration. For when we lift our voices in worship, we invite the presence of God to dwell among us, bringing light, healing, and freedom. 
we're getting ready to pray, but before we begin to pray, please do like, comment, and share this powerful message with everyone you know. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you can be notified when we upload more powerful messages like this. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today with humble hearts, acknowledging our need for your divine intervention in breaking the chains of spiritual bondage that entangle us. You alone are our source of strength and deliverance, and we turn to you with confidence, knowing that nothing is impossible for you. Lord, we confess that there are areas in our lives where we feel shackled, whether by addiction, fear, doubt, or past traumas. We ask for your forgiveness for the times we have allowed these chains to hinder our relationship with you and others. Help us to surrender these burdens to you, trusting in your power to set us free. We pray for clarity and discernment to recognize the lies of the enemy and the strongholds that hold us captive. Grant us the courage to confront these chains head on, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. Father, we ask for your strength to persevere in the face of adversity. When we grow weary and discouraged, remind us of your promises and your presence with us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, empowering us to stand firm in faith and resist the schemes of the evil one. We lift up to you those who are struggling with spiritual bondage in our midst. Surround them with your love and grace and send forth your healing power to break every chain that binds them. Bring restoration and wholeness to their hearts and minds that they may experience the freedom that comes from knowing you. Lord, we thank you for the victory that is ours in Christ Jesus. Through his death and resurrection, we have been set free from the power of sin and death. May we walk in the fullness of this freedom, shining as lights in a world longing for deliverance. Father, grant us the wisdom to recognize the areas where we are bound, whether by addiction, unhealthy relationships, or patterns of thought that are not aligned with your will. Give us the courage to confront these chains, knowing that you are our ever-present help in times of trouble. Lord, we ask for your healing touch to penetrate the deepest wounds of our souls. Heal us from past hurts and traumas that continue to hold us back from experiencing the abundant life you have promised us. Pour out your love and mercy upon us, washing away every stain of sin and shame. Help us to surrender ourselves fully to you, trusting in your plan and purpose for our lives. May we let go of our own desires and ambitions, yielding to your will and allowing your spirit to lead us into freedom and wholeness. We also lift up to you those who are struggling with spiritual bondage in our families, communities, and beyond. You know each person by name and the chains that bind them. Set them free, O Lord, and bring them into the glorious liberty that is found in Christ Jesus. Lord, we confess that at times we have allowed fear, doubt, and sin to entangle us, hindering our spiritual growth and intimacy with you. We ask for your forgiveness and your cleansing touch to wash away every trace of darkness within us. Father, we know that you are a God of liberation and freedom. Your word declares that whom the Son sets free is free indeed. So we come boldly before your throne, declaring victory in the name of Jesus over every chain that binds us. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, empowering us to resist temptation, to overcome adversity, and to walk in the fullness of your love. Strengthen our faith, Lord, and help us to trust in your promises even when circumstances seem bleak. We pray for those in our midst who are struggling with addiction, depression, anxiety, and other forms of spiritual bondage. You see their pain, Lord, and you hear their cries. Set them free, O God, and bring them into the light of your truth and love. Lord, we bring before you the chains of addiction that grip so many lives. Whether it be addiction to substances, behaviors, or unhealthy patterns, we ask for your deliverance and healing. Break the hold that these chains have over your children and lead them into a life of freedom and wholeness in you. Father, we bring before you the chains of past traumas and wounds that continue to haunt us. Heal our brokenness, O Lord, and bind up our wounds with your tender love and mercy. Help us to release the pain of the past and to walk forward in the freedom and joy that you offer us. Lord, we know that you are the chain breaker, the one who sets the captives free. As we lift our voices in prayer today, we ask for your mighty hand to move in our midst, breaking every chain that binds us and leading us into the glorious liberty of your kingdom. Father, we come before you acknowledging our need for your intervention to break the chains of spiritual bondage in our lives and in the lives of those around us. Lord, we confess any areas of our lives where we have allowed sin and spiritual strongholds to take root, hindering our relationship with you. We pray for discernment to recognize the specific areas of bondage in our lives and the courage to confront them with your help. Father, we ask for your forgiveness for any complacency or apathy towards breaking free from spiritual bondage. 
bondage. Lord, grant us the strength to resist temptation and overcome the allure of sinful behaviors that entangle us. We pray for a renewed mind and spirit that we may be transformed by the renewing of our minds according to your word. Father, break every chain of addiction, whether to substances, habits, or unhealthy patterns that holds us in bondage. Lord, release us from the grip of fear and anxiety that paralyzes us and robs us of your peace. We pray for healing from past wounds and traumas that continue to haunt us and for the courage to forgive those who have hurt us. Father, break the chains of bitterness, resentment, and unforgiveness that bind our hearts and hinder our ability to love as you have commanded. Lord, we ask for deliverance from the bondage of guilt and shame and for the assurance of your forgiveness and redemption. Father, break every generational curse and pattern of bondage that has been passed down through our family lines. Lord, release us from the bondage of negative thought patterns and self-destructive behaviors that prevent us from walking in freedom and victory. We pray for the breaking of every chain of addiction to pornography, lust, and sexual immorality that enslaves so many. Father, break the chains of pride and self-reliance that prevent us from fully surrendering to your will and following your leading. Lord, we pray for the breaking of every chain of idolatry and the love of worldly possessions that distracts us from seeking first your kingdom. Father, break every chain of spiritual oppression and demonic influence that seeks to hinder our spiritual growth and walk with you. Lord, we pray for the breaking of every chain of unhealthy relationships and soul ties that drain us spiritually and emotionally. Father, break the chains of complacency and spiritual lethargy that prevent us from pursuing intimacy with you and fulfilling our purpose. Lord, release us from the bondage of legalism and religious performance that hinders us from experiencing the freedom of your grace. Father, break every chain of doubt and unbelief that undermines our faith and trust in your promises and your power. Lord, we pray for the breaking of every chain of addiction to approval and validation from others and for the freedom to find our worth and identity in you alone. Father, break every chain of bitterness, jealousy, and envy that poisons our relationships and robs us of joy and contentment. Lord, release us from the bondage of people-pleasing and the fear of rejection and help us to live boldly for your kingdom. Father, break every chain of spiritual blindness and deafness that prevents us from seeing and hearing your truth and following your guidance. Lord, we pray for the breaking of every chain of self-condemnation and self-hatred that keeps us from fully receiving your love and grace. Father, break the chains of perfectionism and the need to control outcomes and help us to trust in your perfect plan and timing. Lord, release us from the bondage of negative influences and unhealthy attachments that pull us away from you and your purposes for our lives. Father, break every chain of addiction to busyness and distraction that keeps us from spending time in your presence and seeking your will. Lord, we pray for the breaking of every chain of financial bondage and debt that limits our ability to be generous and obedient stewards of your resources. Father, break the chains of pride and self-righteousness that prevent us from receiving correction and guidance from your Holy Spirit. Lord, release us from the bondage of anger and unforgiveness towards ourselves and others and help us to walk in the freedom of your grace and mercy. Father, break every chain of hopelessness and despair that weighs heavy on our hearts and minds and fill us with your peace and hope. Lord, we pray for the breaking of every chain of spiritual lukewarmness and apathy that keeps us from passionately pursuing you and your purposes. Father, break the chains of comparison and insecurity that rob us of our confidence and identity as your beloved children. Lord, release us from the bondage of negative self-talk and self-limiting beliefs that hold us back from stepping into the fullness of your calling for our lives. Father, break the chains of spiritual dryness and stagnation that hinder our growth and vitality in our walk with you and revive us. With a fresh outpouring of your spirit, Lord, release us from the bondage of the past and empower us to walk confidently into the future you have prepared for us, trusting in your unfailing love and guidance. We decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, every chain of spiritual bondage in our lives is broken according to Galatians 5. One, we decree and declare freedom from addiction to sin and harmful behaviors as we are empowered by the Holy Spirit according to Romans 8. Two, we decree and declare deliverance from the grip of fear and anxiety, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, according to 2 Timothy 1, 7. We decree and declare healing from past wounds and traumas, as God binds up the brokenhearted and heals their wounds, according to Psalm 147. Three, we decree and declare forgiveness and release from bitterness and resentment, as we forgive others, as Christ forgave us, according to Ephesians 4, 
2, we decree and declare liberation from guilt and shame, for there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, according to Romans 8, 1. We decree and declare the breaking of generational curses and patterns of bondage as we are redeemed by the blood of Jesus, according to Galatians 3, 13, 14. We decree and declare victory over the powers of darkness, for greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world, according to 1 John 4, 4. We decree and declare release from the bondage of addiction to pornography and sexual immorality as we flee from sexual immorality and honor God with our bodies according to 1 Corinthians 6, 18, 20. We decree and declare the breaking of every chain of doubt and unbelief as we walk by faith and not by sight according to 2 Corinthians 5, 7. We decree and declare freedom from the bondage of pride and self-righteousness for God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble according to James 4, 6. We decree and declare release from the bondage of idolatry and the love of worldly possessions as we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness according to Matthew 6, 33. We decree and declare victory over spiritual oppression and demonic influence as we put on the whole armor of God and stand firm against the schemes of the devil according to Ephesians 6, 10, 11. We decree and declare liberation from the bondage of unhealthy relationships and soul ties as we walk in wisdom and discernment according to Proverbs 13, 20. We decree and declare release from the bondage of complacency and spiritual lethargy as we press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus, according to Philippians 3.14. We decree and declare the breaking of every chain of legalism and religious bondage as we stand fast in the freedom by which Christ has made us free, according to Galatians 5.1. We decree and declare victory over the chains of negative thought patterns and self-destructive behaviors as we take every thought captive to obey Christ according to 2 Corinthians 10, 5. We decree and declare release from the bondage of anger and unforgiveness as we forgive others as Christ forgave us according to Colossians 3, 13. We decree and declare freedom from the bondage of perfectionism and the need for approval as we live for an audience of one according to Galatians 1, 10. We decree and declare victory over the chains of comparison and insecurity as we are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God according to Psalm 139. 14. We decree and declare liberation from the bondage of addiction to busyness and distraction as we choose the one thing that is necessary, which is to sit at the feet of Jesus, according to Luke 10.42. We decree and declare release from the bondage of financial bondage and debt as we trust in God's provision and seek first his kingdom, according to Matthew 6.25. 34. We decree and declare victory over the chains of anger and unforgiveness as we let go of all bitterness, rage, and anger and instead be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave us, according to Ephesians 4, 31, 32. We decree and declare liberation from the bondage of addiction to social media and entertainment as we set our minds on things above, not on earthly things, according to Colossians 3, 2. We decree and declare release from the bondage of spiritual dryness and stagnation as we draw near to God and he draws near to us, according to James 4, 8. We decree and declare victory over over the chains of spiritual lukewarmness and apathy as we fan into flame the gift of God which is in us according to 2 Timothy 1, 6. We decree and declare liberation from the bondage of negative self-talk and self-limiting beliefs as we are transformed by the renewing of our minds according to Romans 12, 2. We decree and declare release from the bondage of division and strife as we pursue unity and peace with one another according to Ephesians 4, 3. We decree and declare freedom from the bondage of spiritual blindness and deafness as we open our eyes and ears to hear and see the wonders of God's word and his works according to Psalm 119, 18. We decree and declare victory over the chains of addiction to gossip and slander as we speak words of life and encouragement that build up and edify others according to Ephesians 4, 29. We decree and declare liberation from the bondage of impatience and discontentment as we learn to be content in every situation, trusting in God's perfect timing and provision according to Philippians 4, 11, 12. We decree and declare release from the bondage of spiritual apathy and indifference as we pursue wholehearted devotion and passionate love for God according to Revelation 2, 4, 
Five, we decree and declare liberation from the bondage of unbelief and skepticism as we hold fast to the promises of God and stand firm in faith according to Mark 9, 23. We decree and declare release from the bondage of spiritual stagnation and complacency as we press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus according to Philippians 3, 14. Father, we thank you for the power of prayer and the authority we have in Christ Jesus to break every every chain of spiritual bondage. We decree and declare your victory over every stronghold and every obstacle in our lives. May your Holy Spirit continue to work in us and through us, bringing freedom, restoration, and transformation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen.